Singapore police have seized assets worth $734.32 million on August 15th in one of the biggest crackdowns on money laundering in the country. The assets include proceeds of organized crime, including plush bungalows at fancy locations, luxury cars, jewelry, handbags, and gold bars. These were seized from a gang of foreigners suspected to be laundering proceeds from overseas organized crime, including scams and online gambling. More than 400 officers conducted simultaneous raids in multiple locations. Two gold bars, more than $23 million in cash, more than 250 luxury bags and watches, more than 270 jewelry items, more than 120 electronic devices and 11 documents related to virtual assets were seized, according to police. At least 10 foreigners, aged between 31 and 44, accused of being involved in the laundering, were arrested in raids that are otherwise rare in Singapore due to its low crime rate. Around 94 homes were raided for alleged money laundering and forgery offenses. The criminal organization was involved with their foreign counterparts for their international links that spanned over several countries. Another eight people are still wanted by officials. The Singapore police force wrote in a statement on 16th August evening. One woman was among those arrested. Local authorities sent more than 400 officers to raid 94 bungalows and condominium apartments in the city-state. There, they found vast collections of jewelry, luxury bags, watches, cars, wine, and even expensive bed-brick models. Officers found around $16.9 million, stashed in suitcases, vaults, and cupboards. These stacks of banknotes were found in denominations of 50, 100, and 1,000 Singapore dollars. One Singapore dollar is worth around $0.73 dollar. Authorities also seized a collective $80 million in 35 bank accounts. In one case, a Chinese man and woman who were arrested in the city's glitzy Pearl Island bungalow enclave had $5.6 million in cash tucked away in nine properties, the Singapore police force said. Another of those arrested, a 35-year-old man with a passport from the Melanesian island of Vanuatu, was found with 69 luxury bags and watches in his house. Officers also found entire garages filled with impeeves and luxury sedans from brands like Rolls, Royce, and Bentley, a $250,000 million Hermes Birkin bag, and a rare Patek Philippe watch that costs over $7 million on the resale market. Three industry experts, and those who own businesses reselling such designer goods, said these luxury items are not easily bought. Photos of the seized designer goods showed rows of extravagant watches, with most priced over $250,000 million, said William Tan, manager of luxury watch dealer Watch Dealer Watch Exchange. Tan said one watch in the collection appears to be a Sky Moon Tourbillon by Swiss luxury watch manufacturer Patek Philippe and is expected to fetch a price of over $7 million on the resale market. Luxury watch and bag dealers said interested buyers cannot just walk into shops and buy these highly sought after items, even if they had the cash. There is usually a long waiting list for popular models. And if a coveted piece is available, priority would go to V buyers. These buyers must have a long purchase history with the brand said people in the industry. Another watch seen in the collection is believed to be a Richard Mill Arm 7, two with a sapphire case, which can fetch a price of around $2 million on the resale market. Hermes, Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, and Prada bags can be seen in the photos, with some bags estimated to be worth over $100,000 million. One bag appears to be a specially made Hermes Birkin with matty alligator skin and brushed gold hardware, said the owner of a luxury bag resale business here. In all, the police carried out prohibition orders on at least 50 vehicles, officials said. At least two men who were arrested maintained extensive collections of wines and alcohol. Among the assets seized was a massive beaver brick collection. Some larger beer brick models sell for as high as $22,000 million each in Singapore. This collection appears to be filled with the largest models, 
a 40-year-old Cypriot national jumped out of the second-floor balcony of his bungalow in a Tony neighborhood and was arrested after he was found hiding in a drain. He sustained some injuries and was taken to the hospital. The simultaneous raids carried out at residences fanning out across Singapore, said the police. They were carried out on at least nine locations, including homes from the Orchard Road shopping belt to the resort island of Sentosa. Twelve people were assisting the police in their investigations, while another eight were wanted. Police said all those in the case were foreigners and were linked to each other. After the arrest, the Monetary Authority Authority of Singapore said it took this case seriously and had contacted the financial institutions where the potentially tainted funds have been identified. David Chu, Director of Commercial Affairs at the Police Force, said Singapore has zero tolerance for being used as a safe haven for criminals or their families and for banking facilities to be abused. The authorities said the criminals had passports from China, Cambodia, the Dominican Republic, Cyprus, Turkey, and Vanuatu, which means they were in contact with their international peers to expand their criminal activities. They are believed to be connected to one another, and no one is a Singaporean or permanent resident. The primary law in Singapore relating to money laundering is the Corruption, Drug Trafficking, and Other Serious Crimes Act, CD say. According to the sections 43, 44, 46, and 47 of the CDSA, which cover the prevention of money laundering and its criminalization. If they found guilty, they face up to 10 years in prison for each charge and fines of up to $367,000 million each.